A little overwhelmed? I'm a little overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is a lot different than what we're used to. Yeah. Hi, I'm Charlie. And I'm Liz. And we are the Adventure Closet. And today? We're uh, going to check out Vietnam. So come along with us. Well, we're in Opal. Yeah. Briefly. Headed uh, to the airport. Um, yeah, headed to the airport. We were a little uh, nervous, excited. Uh, we're finally taking off for Vietnam. Yeah. Um, we're heading over to Charlie's mom's house right now. She's gonna babysit Opal for the next several months. And, uh, She's going to drive us to the airport. So, uh, we'll see you at the airport. Yep. So we just had to stand in that line behind us and uh, we didn't even need to. Apparently we could have done a web check-in, which I thought I did, but I guess not. There's even a little free library in the airport. I don't want to trade my book for that, but I want that book. <laughs> okay, so just had to go through TSA, which Took about 20 minutes. But and, we checked out. But yeah, we're we did good. good. We're good. Um, but now, getting on an escalator is difficult while you're filming. Um, now we're headed to a train to Gate S because apparently we got to take a train. I don't even With know. With plenty of time, I, I, I think it'll be fine. Yeah. I need to rest. Yeah, all right. On the flight. We're here. Well, we're here on the flight. Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to familiarize you with two
today because of strong headwinds. We just landed in Seoul, South Korea, and uh, we've got like 30 minutes to get to our next gate to hop a plane to get to Hanoi. We've already been flying for like... I thought it was 12 hours. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot. Our bodies hurt. Yeah, and now we got a couple more hours to go. Yeah. So, why does that look empty? So we had to go through TSA again. Did you want to get uh, water? So now I gotta go change my pants before we hop on this flight. But fortunately, they postponed it. For Hanoi Noiba International Airport. Thank you, and enjoy the flight. First order of business. We're here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I this feels unreal. Yeah, it does. We just got dropped off by our great driver. Um you this is amazing. Translate the whole time. Yeah.
think this is the entrance. We need to call. Okay. Well, Charlie's trying to call the hotel. I noticed there's a Bon Me stand right across from our hotel, which is a, a Vietnamese uh, sta sandwich. And I'm looking at the prices here, and uh, we're looking at like 25, 30 thousand dong, which translates to about a dollar US. This is our thing. Uh, we paid $12 a night. 12 or 13, yeah. 12 or $13 a night. We booked it for two nights for our first two nights in Hanoi. Um, it has AC. Wi-Fi. It's got a, a bathtub. A little dated, but... And it was like 17 flights of stairs coming up here. Yeah, I thought it was never going to end. Uh, yeah. Thirty minutes of sleep in the last. Well, not counting the limited amount of sleep we had the night before, but we've had thirty minutes of sleep today. After waking up at six thirty a.m. Pacific Daylight Time in Washington State, it is now one a.m. here, but it's actually ten a.m. back in Washington State. So we have been up for math. 28 hours. Fall asleep right here. Well, Liz is gonna fall asleep right here on the bed. See you guys in the morning when we check out the street and get some food to eat. This bed is memory foam. Nice. Good night, everybody. Good night. Okay, before we mess this room up. Quick thirteen dollar night room view. Uh, quick thirteen dollar night room tour. Memory foam bed. Lots of room here. Like we'll walk around in this thing. Uh, beautiful bay window. Nice little workstation area. Um, they have big waters for fifteen thousand dong. Small water for 10,000 dong. Dong is the Vietnamese currency, by the way. Uh, 15,000 dong is about 50 cents. 10,000 dong is probably about 30 cents. I'll put it right here, what it actually is. Um, I don't want to wake anybody up. It's 1 a.m. We just got in. I called the guy and I woke him up and he checked us in. Come check this out. Oh, what you got? So. These are the free uh, soaps and shampoos. Gotta be quiet. These are the free soaps and shampoos that you get. Nice. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna have a blast showing you guys around. The cute little soap shampoo. This is awesome. Get a comb. And these cute little toothbrushes with, with mini toothpaste. Green toothpaste. Okay, so here's the bathroom. It's a it's a western toilet, which means a normal toilet. It's a big bathtub. Big bathtub. I mean, yeah, it's it's a little rough around the edges, but so you should see the street it's on. And it's thirteen dollars. <laughs> so cool. Uh, we did a bed bug. We did a bed bug check, as usual. Uh, let me quickly show you how we do that. First thing you're going to want to do is you want to pick up the mattress and look underneath for any like blood staining. And then especially if you got one of these fabric uh, headboards, you want to look in the cracks and crevices. You also want to look in your outlets. 
And uh, Liz says she found a trick on TikTok where if you uh, use the heat from your body to draw them out to see if there is any. But always good to check for bed bugs. You do, always good to check for bed bugs. You do not want bed bugs ever. <laughs> so, all right, we're going to get some sleep. It's been 28 hours. I'm tired. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. We're just so excited, though. So hopefully we get some sleep. When we wake up, we're going to show you guys Vietnam. The street was amazing walking in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's stop the jibba jabba. We yeah. got to go to sleep. All right, good night. Good night. All right, good morning, guys. So we're checking on our view during the daylight. It's actually very interesting. I just realized this whole section I didn't see. Look at those tall, little skinny houses. So we are on the fourth floor, I think. And let's open this window here. Get a little of the ambiance. Oh my gosh, they do. One of the things I wanted to do was to check out a bonsai garden. Don't lean your head out because I just got rained on by the AC units. Yeah? Poor oh, fat Faniki. <laughs> and there's another Faniki. Mm -hmm. Wow. And what are these tanks? I don't know. We have so many questions. <laughs> I'm so curious about everything. There's another one of those tanks right there. Oh my gosh. This is going to be pretty cool, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it is just like out of a movie. Yeah. There goes the kitty cat. That is an interesting looking cat. Look at this. Look at on look on the camera, babe. Wait till he turns his head. Isn't that? Oh, are his ears clipped or something? I, I think so. Are they just little? He, but he's got like thick eyebrows. He looks like a um, like a, a mountain lion. Yeah. All right, so that's our view. All right, we're starving. It's breakfast time, so let's go find some food and coffee. Yes. Oh, and speaking of food, um, you guys are gonna see a, something. You guys are gonna see us do something you've never seen us do before, and that is eat meat. We have been building up our system, getting used to it, and for the last like month or so back in the States. And uh, there's two reasons why we are doing this. And we'll tell you as we go. Yes. We are not the top floor. Oh wow. Yeah. step <laughs> Yeah. 
it open? Oh, yeah. But I bet you being right here, yeah. probably a bit spendy. This is pretty crazy, guys. Yeah. That will be cool at night. I wonder if they light it up at night yet. It's still uh, November. I'm sure they do. But check this church out. We're gonna have to come back here at night. Yeah. Looks like there's a lot of stuff down Well, we're in the heart of everything. Yeah. I mean, there's a Circle K right there. Yeah. There's another ca cafe right there. Yeah. Coffee there, that place is crazy. Yeah. Look at that Porsche. Okay, what do you want to do? A little overwhelmed? I'm a little overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is a lot different than what we're used to. Yeah, it's already really, really muggy. Yeah, and it's only like, it's probably about 8 a.m. right now, right? Yeah. yeah. We only got a couple hours of sleep. Yeah, but it was good sleep. I, yeah. It was much needed sleep. Let's get yeah. coffee. Let's get coffee. Okay. Um... Okay. We need to first cross the street. <laughs> well, yeah, that's not going to be that. We difficult. can go over this way. I don't think you have to cross at a corner here. No. Cafe, that's cafe, that's cafe, that's cafe. <laughs> He's tripled up these stools for us, and uh, I don't know, I'm kind of not putting all my weight on him. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a little scary sitting on these little plastic stools, yeah. but um, they really had good humor about it, he, you know. He, he sat there and waited, he's like, yeah, let me make sure that, that you're going to be good. Yeah. I, I said, I, I'm good, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and eating this meat in the last month has uh, put, uh, put some pounds on both of us. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> so, why do we start eating meat? Because, for one, we're not going to know what we're eating here. And we needed to adjust our, our bodies in case we got some meat. And it would be bad to get meat in an emergency and not know where the nearest bathroom is. I don't know if this is going to work. The seat is making sounds. Yeah, I keep sinking. <laughs> All right, so let's wait for our coffee and uh, we'll see how that goes. This is going to be a weird video, guys. Yeah.
Okay, so we have our coconut coffees. Um, cheers. 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 <laughs> um, Ooh. It, so it has like a almost like a toasted coconut taste with like a heavy cream. I don't know if they put they use a lot of condensed milk here in Vietnam. So that might be the heavy cream flavor. You guys said you wanna you wanna stir it up. I stirred mine up. It's already muggy here. Yeah. And reason number two. What was reason number two? <laughs> we talked about this beforehand. Being able to eat whatever is in front of us, uh, the way the Vietnamese people will make it. So hopefully that makes sense. I know that was all over the place, but we're a little overwhelmed here in Vietnam and out of. What was it? There was a, the girl has a, a helmet, and there's a hole in the helmet for her bun. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, Hopefully we see that we'll, again. We'll... Oh, you can get a tuxedo over there. This building is. I don't know. Tourists. Huh? Gosh, these trees are amazing. There's a little doggy over here. That horn scared the dog. Xin chào. Xin chào, little doggy. Hi. Oh my goodness. Hi. <laughs> to eat there's too many choices here so uh, we're just wandering around right now kind of mesmerized actually <laughs> yeah it's, uh, it's a lot <laughs> we have so much to show you guys yeah check this tree out it yet but people will uh, drive their motorcycles on the sidewalk just like this um, and as you're walking along it's like everywhere is free game so there's there's no rules just honk your horn if you're going around a corner it, like all the honking isn't to be like mean like 
it's to just, let people know where you are. Yeah, it's very interesting and very, um, just a lot going on. <laughs> I keep saying that. I mean, honestly, we could just we could just keep the camera rolling as we walk down the street, and just to show you guys. It's crazy, like. Um, but I want to show you a bunch of detail stuff too. You really can't do that with the GoPro, so I'm gonna have to pull the phone out, and we're gonna have to figure out how we're doing these videos here because it's gonna be different than our videos. So. I don't have cherries. Yeah. All right, we still haven't found any food. I mean, honestly, we've found food, but we haven't actually sat down to eat food. So let's get some food. Underneath the table is a garbage can to throw all your scraps, so I threw my lime peel in there. this and then um, 
I don't know. <laughs> then we're gonna just go look at stuff. <laughs> yeah. Wide eyed and full of wonder. Yeah. This is what the Vietnamese dong looks like. So how much does it take to be a millionaire in Vietnam? Uh, it takes $41 US to be, to have a million dong. Do you have that in your hand? No, but I have that here. <laughs> Six, <laughs> eight, nine, million. Right there. Wow. So we're millionaires. That's right. If you have around forty-one dollars, you're a millionaire. In Vietnamese. Let's go pay for this. Uh, so this hucha was thirty-five thousand each, which is this much in U.S. Uh, which is not very much. No. Oh. Ow. <laughs> it's not Charlie's size here. No, it's not. The dragon fruit. I don't even know what the other things are. This is super low. to see a video of us trying weird <laughs> uh, treats. <laughs> I do. Oh, <laughs> <Me>. <laughs> oh you too? Yeah. <clears throat> oh good, they have uh, like shampoos and stuff here too. Yeah. Huh, it's a pretty, pretty good little store. Actually, how much is the, the big one? Oh, okay. I'll ask you. Premium apples. Is it okay if we film mm -hmm. the, cam the camera photo? Is that okay? Is, is this this okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Can you yes. film me? Yeah. Uh, but, but new? Yeah. 30 is 10. Okay. 
Uh, oh, let's yeah. get this. Yeah. Okay, we'll get this yeah. one. You take the two or one? Both. Both. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. You can make this one. Okay, so that was 40, which uh, a lot of water, a lot of water for uh, just under two bucks. Yeah. Uh, we can't drink the water here right now because our systems aren't used to it. Uh, we, we can't drink the water here. A lot of the locals uh, don't even drink the water from the tap, so um, they're just uh, Vietnam is a developing country and they don't have their water system down yet. Yeah. There is so much to show you guys, so much to see. Um, but I think that's pretty good for uh, our first morning video. Yeah, let's end it here and maybe tomorrow we'll pick you up for dinner. <laughs> I can't believe the nervous energy that we both had this entire morning, our first morning here in Vietnam. But it's so overwhelming like everything is brand new and that is the excitement about this and um so far the people have just greeted us with smiles and it's been pretty easy to navigate um no that's not true it's been challenging to navigate but anyways whatever well that was fun that was so much fun. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon and we'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye now.